हरे कृष्णा आप अब जी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण श्री नित्यानंद चंद्रम पति शरण दम गौरादम तम भजे हम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैत गृधार श्री वसादी गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चैवानोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तय मुदीर ये नस्तपरैस्वभद्रैसु नित्यम भगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठी ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय श्रीमद भागवतम कांटो फ्री चैप्टर थर्टी टू एंटेंगलमेंट एंटेंगलमेंट इन फ्रूटिव एक्टिविटीज नपील उच अथ यो गृहमीधियान धर्मावसन गृह काम अर्थ चर्मा स्वान् दोग्धिभूय पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड सैड द पर्सन हू लिव्स इन द सेंटर ऑफ हाउस होल्ड लाइफ डिराइव्स मटीरियल बेनिफिट्स बाय परफॉर्मिंग रिलीजियस रिचुअल्स and thereby he fulfills his desire for economic development and sense gratification again and again he acts the same way sachapi bhagavad dharma kama muddah paran mukah yajate kratu bhir devan pitram scha shraddhayan vitah such persons are ever bereft of devotional service due to being too attached to sense gratification and therefore although they perform various kinds of sacrifices and take great vows to satisfy the demigods and forefathers they are not interested in krishna consciousness devotional service such materialistic persons attracted by sense gratification and devoted to the forefathers and demigods can be elevated to the moon where they drink an extract of the soma plant they again return to this planet yada chahindra sayayam setenanta sano hari hi tada lokalayam yanti taite grihamidhinam all the planets of the materialistic persons including all the heavenly planets such as the moon are vanquished when the supreme personality of godhead hari goes to his bed of serpents which is known as anantasya ye swadharman duhyanti dhirah kamartha hetave nihi sanga nyasht karmanah prashantah sudha chetashah those who are intelligent and are purif- are of purified consciousness are completely satisfied in krishna consciousness freed from the modes of material nature they do not act for sense gratification rather since they are situated in their own occupational duties they act as one is expected to act निवृति धर्म निरता निर्ममा निरहंकृता स्वधर्मा प्रेन सत्वेन परिशुद्धेन चेतशा By executing one's occupational duties 
acting with detachment and without sense of proprietorship or false egoism. One is posted in one's constitutional position by dint of complete purification of consciousness, and by thus executing so-called material duties, he can easily enter into the kingdom of God. Surya Dwari Nati Yanti Purusham Vishvato Mukham Parabari Samprakritim Asyot Patyanta Bhavanam Through the path of illumination, such liberated persons approach the complete personality of Godhead, who is the proprietor of the material and spiritual worlds and is the supreme cause of their manifestation and dissolution. Worshippers of the Hiranyakarpa expansion of the personality of Godhead remain within this material world until the end of two Pararatas, when Lord Brahma also dies. Jamam bhunalani laviyan banayin vayatha bhuta adi bihi parivritam prati sanjihir suhu avyakritam vishati arhi gunatrayatma kalam parakya manupaya parahasvayam bhuhu. After experiencing the inhabitable time of the three modes of material nature, known as two paradas, Lord Brahma closes the material universe, which is covered by layers of earth, water, air, fire, ether, mind, ego, etc., and goes back to Godhead. Great. So, let's take a little break there. Uh, over to you, Surinder Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Prabhu, and Dandavat to all the Vaishnavas, Nitai Gaur, Hari Gaur. <clears throat> so we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 32. Chapter 32, and Entanglement in Fruitive Activities. Sakama Karma, Attached and Nishkama Karma, Detached, verses 1 to 9. Sakama Karma, Performing Religious Rituals to Demigods and Forefathers for Sense Gratification, Earth and Kama. The attached worker may achieve elevation to the uh, mood and drink to the moon and drink soma juice. But after the pious credits are used, these persons return back to earth. Nishkama karma. Conversely, those unattached workers who perform dutiful and unmotivated Swadharma with detachment, devotional service to the Lord, are peaceful and pure, without a sense of proprietorship, can easily enter his kingdom by the path of illumination. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so Hare Krishna. So a few points to remember is that um, previously the uh, goal of life was based on these uh, four principles like uh, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. <clears throat> means, dharma means religiosity and artha, economic development. Kama, like sense gratification or fulfillment, fulfillment of desires. And uh, moksha is liberation. But Goranga Mahaprabhu uh, has come and uh, he has uh, given us the fifth end of life, fifth goal of life, which is Krishna Prema. And we don't need to go through these uh, four uh, previous uh, principles. We can uh, practice uh, Bhakti Mark as per the directions given by Gauranitai or Gurudev and the Vaishnavas and practice uh, Sudha Bhakti 
and then we aim to attain uh, uh, Krishna Prema, Prema Bhakti. So <clears throat> this this way, and uh, the the most important thing is uh, to avoid bad association. So a realization of the result of associating with those who are averse to the Supreme Lord Hari. One should endure the pain of being locked in a cage surrounded by blazing fire, rather than keep the distressing association of persons averse to Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. This verse was uh, spoken by Katyayana. Hare Krishna, Nidai Gaur Hare Gaur. Thank you. Nice, nice verse. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Evam Paritya Bhagavantam Manu Pravishta Ye Yogi No Jita Marunnan So Viragaha Tene Eva Shakam Bamritam Purusham Puranam Brahma Pradhanam Upayanti Agata Bhimanaha the yogis who become detached from the material world by practice of breathing exercises and control of the mind reach the planet of Brahma, which is far, far away. After giving up their bodies, they enter into the body of Lord Brahma. And they, therefore, when Brahma is liberated and goes to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the Supreme Brahman, such yogis can also enter into the kingdom of God. Atthatam sarva bhutanam hirpadme sukritalayam shutanu bhavam sharanam vraja bhavena bhamini. Therefore, my dear mother, by devotional service, take direct shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is seated in everyone's heart. Ajahasthiracharanam Sasamsritya-punah-kale, my dear mother, someone may worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead with a special self-interest, but even demigods such as Lord Brahma, great sages such as Sanat Kumar, and great munis such as Marichi have to come back to the material world again at the time of creation. When the interaction of the three modes of material nature begins, Brahma, who is the creator of this cosmic manifestation, and who is full of Vedic knowledge, and the great sages who are the authors of the spiritual path, and the yoga system come back under the influence of the time factor. They are liberated by their non fruitative activities and attain the first incarnation of the Purusha. But at the time of creation, they come back in exactly the same forms and positions they previously had. Hare Krishna. Nitai Gaur Hare Gaur. So demigod worshippers come back. Verses 10 to 16. Next, Kapila Dev discusses the destination of various worshippers. Hiryana Garbha, Vishwarupa. Worshippers go to Satyalok and go to the Lord with uh, Brahma. Detached yogis also reach Brahma's planet and get liberated with Brahma. 
These yogis only get liberated if they have Vishnu Bhakti. If they are worshippers of Brahma, then they will merge into the body of Mahavishnu at the end of creation and will re-enter the material world when the next creation begins. So Vishnu, Krishna, Bhakti is essential. Even great sages like four Kumaras and demigods like Brahma will come back to the material world if there is an absence of bhakti. Yes, <clears throat> so by religiosity or by um, some uh, uh, religious rituals, and especially uh, directed towards demigod worship, is uh, Krishna explains in Bhagavad Gita, the worshippers of ghosts goes to the planet of ghosts, the worshippers of demigods goes to the planet of demigods, and the, the worshippers of forefathers goes to the planets of forefathers after the death. And the worshippers of Krishna and Krishna Bhakti, Shuddha Bhakti, will go to Shri Krishna at the lotus feet of Shri Krishna as per the Lord's will. So in this way, this is explained in Bhagavad Gita. And uh, therefore, we should uh, aim and aspire to perform Sudha Bhakti. And that is our prayer. Nitai go Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Yetva iha shakta manasaha Karma su shadhayan vitaha Purvanti aprati siddhani Nityanya picha krishna saha Persons who are too addicted to this material world execute their prescribed duties very nicely and with great faith. They daily perform all such prescribed duties with attachment to the fruitative result. Raja Sakuntha Manasaha Kamatmanu Jitindriyaha Petrin Yajanti Anudinam Griheswa Bhiratasayaha Such persons, impelled by the mode of passion, are full of anxieties and always aspire for sense gratification due to uncontrolled senses. They worship the forefathers, are and are busy day and night improving the economic condition of their family, social or national life. Raivar gikaste purusha vimukha hari medhasaha kathayam kathani oru vikramasya madhudvisaha Such persons are called Raivar gika because they are interested in the three elevating processes. They are averse to the Supreme Personality of Godhead who can give relief to the conditioned soul. They are not interested in the Supreme Personality's pastimes, which are worth hearing because of his transcendental prowess. Noonam daivena vihata ye cha chutta katha sudham hitva shan panti ashad gathaha puri sham neva vid bhujaha Such persons are condemned by the supreme order of the Lord because they are averse to the nectar of the activities of the supreme personality of Godhead. They are compared to stool eating hogs. They give up hearing the transcendental activities of the Lord and indulge in hearing of the abominable activities of materialistic persons. Dakshinena pataryam naha pitralokam rajantite prajamanu prajayante smasananta kriyakritaha such materialistic persons are allowed to go to the planet called Pitraloka by the southern course of the sun, but they again come back to this planet and take birth in their own families, 
beginning again the same fruitative activities from birth to the end of life. When the results of their pious activities are exhausted, they fall down by higher arrangement and again come back to this planet. Just as any person raised to a high position, sometimes all of a sudden, Hare Krishna, Nitai Guru Hare Guru. So, forefather worshippers come back, verses 17 to 21. Those persons busily performing their prescribed duties, being attached to the fruits, are always anxious and after sense gratification. They worship the forefathers but are uninterested in the Supreme Lord. They go to Pitrilok, but after their pious credits are exhausted, they fall back to earth. Yes, so <clears throat> it is said uh, in the scriptures, Bhukti uh, Mukti Pisachini. So the path of Bhukti means sense enjoyment. And Mukti, the path of Mukti, uh, the path of liberation, Mayavad concept, uh, is con compared to Pisachini, like a witch or a ghost, and they come to haunt us. So we are always sort of haunted by such desires of sense gratification and liberation. But we should do detail our desire only to serve Hari Guru and Vaishnava and to please Hari Guru Vaishnava uh, eternally. So this should be our uh, aspiration for Shuddha Bhakti. Hare Krishna Nitai Gaur Hari. Tesma tum sarva bhavena bhajashva paramisthinam tad gunasraya ya bhaktya bhajaniya padambujam. My dear mother, I therefore advise that you take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, for his lotus feet are worth worshipping. Accept this with all devotion and love. For thus you can be situated in transcendental devotional service. Vasu Devi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojitaha Janayati Asu Vairagyam Nanam Yad Brahma Darshanam. Engagement in Krishna consciousness and application of devotional service unto Krishna make it possible to advance in knowledge and detachment as well as in self-realization. Yadasya chitta marthesu samisvandriya vritti bhihi navidrinati vaishamyam priyam apriyamiti uta. The exalted devotee's mind becomes equipoised in sensory activities and he is transcendental to that which is agreeable and not agreeable. Sata Devatmanatmanam Nihisangam Samadarshanam Heyopade Yarehitam Arudham Padamikshate. Because of his transcendental intelligence, the pure devotee is equipoised in his vision and sees himself to be uncontaminated by matter. He does not see anything as superior or inferior and he feels himself elevated to the transcendental platform of being equal in qualities with the Supreme Person. Gnana matram param brahma paramatmishwara puman drishyadi bihi prithak bhavair bhagavane kaiyate the Supreme Personality of Godhead alone is complete transcendental knowledge. 
but according to the different processes of understanding, he appears differently, either as impersonal Brahman, as Paramatma, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, or as the Purush Avatar. Hare Krishna, Nitai Gur Hare. So, equipoised devotees, verses 22 to 26, Kapila Dev advises devotee to continue in her devotional service. Krishna consciousness brings knowledge, detachment, self realization, and transcendence. The results of bhakti include the jnana and yoga because the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan, alone is complete. Although, according to the different processes of understanding, he appears differently either as impersonal Brahman or Paramatma. <clears throat> yes. So, uh, this uh, Sudha Bhakti will lead us, the devotees, to attain uh, the equipoised mental condition. So, when we are equipoised, means we attain peace and then uh, we are not uh, disturbed by happiness or distress. Uh, fame or infamy, uh, uh, gain or loss, and things like that. We are equipoised uh, in the pair of dualities. Uh, we attain the transcendental uh, position. That's why it's mentioned here. Uh, this Krishna consciousness brings uh, knowledge, means transcendental knowledge, Krishna Katha, detachment, self-realization, and transcendence. So we will reach the transcendental plane and situated in Sudha Bhakti, and this is our prayer. Hare Krishna Nithai Gaur Hare. Hare Krishna Nithai Gaur Yujyate bhima tohi artho yada sangas tu krishna saha the greatest common understanding for all yogis is complete detachment from matter, which can be achieved by different kinds of yoga. Those who are averse to the transcendence realize the supreme absolute truth differently through speculative sense perception. And therefore, because of mistaken speculation, everything appears to them to be relative. From the total energy, the Mahatattva, I have manifested the false ego, the three modes of material nature, the five material elements, the individual consciousness, the eleven senses and the material body. Similarly, the entire universe has come from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This perfect knowledge can be achieved by a person who is already engaged in devotional service with faith, steadiness and full detachment, and who is always absorbed in thought of the Supreme. He is aloof from material association. My dear respectful mother, I have already described the path of understanding the absolute truth by which one can come to understand the real truth of matter and spirit and their relationship. Nana yoga shaman nishto nirgunyo bhakti lakshanaha 
द्वयोरपेको भगवच्छक्षण Philosophical research culminates in understanding the supreme personality of Godhead. After achieving this understanding, when one becomes free from the material modes of nature, he attains the stage of devotional service, either by devotional service directly or by philosophical research. One has to find the same destination, which is the supreme personality of Godhead. Uh, uh, you might be muted, um, uh, Nandalila. Yathendriye prithak dwariye artho bahu gunasraya ha eko nani yate tadvad bhagavan shastra vartma bhihi. A single object is appreciated differently by different senses due to its having different qualities. Similarly, the supreme personality of Godhead is one, but according to different scriptural injunctions, he appears to be different. Priya ya kratu bhir danis tapah swadhyaya marshanehi atmendriya jayena pi sanyasena cha karmanam yogena vividhangena bhakti yogena chaivahi dharmeno bhaya chihinena yaha pravritti nivritti man by performing fruitative activities and sacrifices, by distributing charity, by performing austerities, by studying various literatures, by conducting philosophical research, by controlling the mind, by subduing the senses, by accepting the renounced order of life, by performing the prescribed duties of one's social order, by performing the different divisions of yoga practice, by performing devotional service, by exhibiting the process of devotional service containing the symptoms of both attachment and detachment, by understanding the science of self-realization, and by developing a strong sense of detachment, one who is expert in understanding the different processes of self-realization realizes the Supreme Personality of Godhead as he is represented in the material world as well as in transcendence. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Nitai Gaur Hare. So devotional service is the highest, uh, verses 27 to 36. Full knowledge of the material world and self-realization are only gained by one uh, in and is engaged in devotional service with faith, steadiness, and detachment. So <clears throat> it is said uh, the name of uh, his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. So it is said Bhakti Vedanta. So there's uh, three words here, bhakti, ved, anta. So bhakti hi ved ka anta hai in Hindi. Means the culmination of uh, knowledge is bhakti. So we have to come to the point of bhakti. And uh, in uh, Prapalan Jivanamritam, it is said uh, one verse as follows. Uh, the adversity of all attempts based on austerity, etc. O Rahugana. Without one's head being adorned with the dust of the holy feet of pure devotee, one can never attain devotion for the Supreme Lord by austerity, by Vedic worship and religiosity, by following the vow of monkhood, by following the religious duties of married life, by study and recitation of the Vedas, or by worshipping water, fire, or sun. So this was this verse was uh, spoken by Sri Jadabharata. 
So when we are talking about this, uh, the devotional service is the highest. So in uh, Prem Dham Deva Stotram, there is one verse which is as follows. Goda Varya Vamatira Ramananda Sambadam Jnana Karma Mukta Marma Raga Bhakti Sampadam Parakiya Kanta Krishna Bhava Sevana Karam Prema Dham Deva Meva Nomi Gaura Sundaram so the conversation between Goranga Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai, known as the Ramananda Sambad, took place by the river Godavari. And in this conversation, uh, it is explained by Goranga Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai that uh, there is a spiritual gradation. So from lowest to the highest. For example, when uh, Ramananda Rai was st starting to explain about Varnashrama Dharma, and Goranga Mahaprabhu told him, Age or kaha ohe bhai, means uh, go further, higher level of Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna, Nitai Gaurahibo. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Prabhu Cham Bhakti Yoga Sya. Swarupam te chatur vidham, kalasya chavyakta gatir, yuntar dhavati jantusu. Oh, Lina, you might be muted, huh? Sorry, Prabhupada. My dear mother, I've explained to you the process of devotional service and its identity in four different social divisions. I've explained to you as well how eternal time is chasing the living entities, although it is imperceptible to them. Jivasya samsritir bahavir avidya karma nirmitaha Yashvanga pravishanatma naveda gati matmanaha. There are varieties of material existence for the living entity according to the work he performs in ignorance or forgetfulness of his real identity. My dear mother, if anyone enters into that forgetfulness, he is unable to understand where his movements will end. Naitat khalayo padisin, navini taya karhichit, nastabdhaya nabhinnaya, neva dharma dvajaya cha. Lord Kapila continued, This instruction is not meant for the envious, for the agnostics, or for persons who are unclean in their behavior. Nor is it for hypocrites or for persons who are proud of material possessions. Nalolu payo padi sein, nagriharudhacheta she, na bhaktaya chame jatu, na mad bhakta dvishamapi. It is not to be instructed to persons who are too greedy and too attached to family life, nor to persons who are non-devotees and who are envious of the devotees and, and of the personality of Godhead. Shtaddhanaya bhaktaya vinitaya nasuya ve bhute shukritta metraya susru sabhirataya cha. Instruction should be given to the faithful devotee who is respectful to the spiritual master, non envious, friendly to all kinds of living entities and eager to render service with faith and sincerity. Bahir jata viragaya santa chetaya diyatam nirmat saraya suchaye yashyaham prayasham priyaha this instruction should be imparted by the spiritual master to persons who have taken the Supreme Personality of Godhead to be more dear than anything, who are not envious of anyone, 
who are perfectly cleansed and who have developed a detachment for that which is outside the purview of Krishna consciousness. Yaidam Srinu Yadamba Shaddhaya Purushaha Sakrit Yova Bhidhatte Machittaha Sahyate Padavinchame Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anyone who once meditates upon me with faith and affection, who hears and chants about me, surely be goes back home, back to Godhead. Hare Krishna. Thank, Thank you. Well done. Fantastic. Hare Krishna. Nitai Guru. So qualification of the hearers, verses 37 to 43. This knowledge is not for the envious, dirty, hypocritical, proud and attached non-devotees. It mm -hmm. is for faithful devotees who respect the spiritual master, are not envious, uh, who are friendly, detached, and who serve the Supreme Lord and meditate on Him with affection. Such people go back to Godhead. Mm. Yes. So in uh, <clears throat> Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna explains that there are four types of people who uh, surrender unto Lord Krishna and four types of people who are not interested in devotional service. So the four types of people who surrender unto Lord Sri Krishna are those who are in distress, those in search of wealth, those in search of the absolute truth, and those who are the fourth one, Prabhu, what is it? Uh, so here, uh, the four who are not interested, right? No, uh, no, no, those who are interested. Oh, uh, those who are interested, yeah. So distress, Sorry. search in wealth. After, after inquisitive. inquisitive, inquisitive, yeah. The fourth one, <laughs> <laughs> Thank one. You. yeah, yes. Uh, uh, they surrender unto Lord Sri Krishna, and uh, there are four types of people who do not uh, take interest uh, interest mm. in Krishna consciousness. They are uh, Maya, Paritya, Jnana. Those mm. intelligence have been stolen by Maya, like the mm. materialistic scientists, and uh, Naradhama, the lowest of mankind, and Mudha. Those foolish, uh, like mm. uh, foolish, like us, a donkey, and again, the fourth one is that's a little harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little harder. Where was that? So, Maya Paritanagana, uh, Mudha, Naradhama, and the fourth one is not coming in my mind. Anymore. Yeah, that is a little. Anyhow, there, there is a uh, four people who doesn't uh, surrender unto the Lord. However, because uh, we are mentioning about uh, spiritual gradation in this uh, chapter of Shrimad Bhagavatam, so there is a verse uh, from Prapanjivamitam which is as follows, which is uh, uh, it um, it goes to the highest level of Krishna consciousness. Uh, it expresses this uh, mood of bhakti. So the pure devotee who knows the parama immaculate nectar of devotion for Sri Chaitanya Dev distress all else, even to the point of considering the culture of all the spiritual relationships to be opposition. So let me remain within a cage of blazing fire, but never in the association of persons averse to the holy lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. I never get even the slightest taste of the nectar of a teeny particle of the pollen of the lotus feet of Sri Guranga. My heart has no aspiration for a position in the great spiritual planets headed by Vaikuntha, even if it is mine for the taking. So mm. this verse was expressed by Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati, great devotee of Guranga Mahaprabhu. Mm. Hare Krishna Prabhu Nitai Guranga. Good, Hare thank you. Thank you. Very good recitation, very good explanations, actually. Uh, well, very, very good. Thank you. Krishna, thank you, Prabhu Nitai Thank you. And a very sweet chapter. Very, very sweet chapter. Some chapters are quite challenging, quite tough. Uh, but this chapter is a really uh, phenomenal chapter. I feel there's instructions to Devuti Mataji. is amazing. So thank you so much uh, for taking us through that. And any questions? Uh, Lina, Nalini? 
And thank you for the darshan. Uh, let's just have a darshan of Radha Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you, Anantalila Mataji, as well, for yeah. reciting so beautifully. Yeah, amazing, actually. Amazing. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, everybody, for giving me the opportunity. I'm <laughs> yes. Thank you, Prabhu, and all the Vaishnavas. Dandavat Pranam, Hare Krishna, Nitai Gaur, Hare 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 H